You've probably heard that different wines are better with certain foods, but what about beer? An event coming up at the American Club in Kohler will pair a variety of beers with a six-course meal. Sounds pretty fancy. Horse and Plow Manager Sean McMullen joins me now with some pairings, along with Dan Dries, who's going to help us out. Sean, this is really... Um, is it for any beer lovers or fine beer lovers, would you say? I think say? this is for everyone, uh, but we definitely are pushing the envelope a little bit uh, beyond just the, the regular lagers or pilsners that you see out there in your supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, the company that we're featuring for a beer dinner is Flying Dog. Uh, now they're out of uh, Frederick, Maryland, but they started out in Denver, Colorado. And a lot of people are looking for these different beers right. to try out, too. It's really become quite the thing. The, the micro beer market has really taken off in the United States. and. Um, uh, Europe is actually taking notice of us now instead of all, us always looking towards them. Isn't but, that yeah. nice? And that happened with wines, too. Correct. So Double Dog, Double Pale Ale is just one of them. But what's neat about some of these is also the artwork, and why right. is that? Um, Ralph Steadman, who was Hunter S. Thompson's uh, illustrator for all his articles, joined on with his company and did all the artwork for all these uh, bottles of beer. So it's just really unique uh, uh, artwork and beer. So there's a story behind it, too. And th this is the beer that's featured for this in beer maker dinner series Correct, yeah. that you're having. And let's talk a little bit about the food that you mm -hmm. brought and why you picked the beer to go with right. it. Well, um, what we do is go through all the beers that we're going to um, choose for, for the dinner, taste them, and figure out what kind of food we're going to put oh, with okay. it. So uh, it's a great job. So I get to eat and drink and get paid for it. But I um, like my job, but your one, yours sounds good, too. Um, with this one, with, uh, we chose the In Heat Wheat. Um, it's got uh, a fresher, crisper <laughs> flavor. Um, but it's going to pair well with the salmon and the, the sour cream that's a uh, little chives and a little bit of acidity with the pickled onion that we have. Or, okay. But it's an it's a easy assembly. A um, little bit of sour cream on top. Decorate this. And this is something you can do at home very easily. Um, you know, if well, you, you would really impress your guests, too. If you, got all this, if you had all this prepared ahead of time right. and set it out like that. Right. So this is just one of the appetizers that we have um, for the first course. Okay. And w why did you pick this beer? Again, with the, with the wheat flavor uh, in this beer, it's a little bit lighter, crisper. It'll stand up to the stronger flavors that we have in the salmon here as opposed to just a, a regular lager. Okay. Um, but it'll still be refreshing. All right. I'm going to save uh, my taste of beer for this one because this soup looks delicious. I don't know if people can see it. I'm going to give you an eye of it. Yeah. W and this is, is a uh, fire roasted tomato and chipotle soup. Oh. So it's got to have a little bit of spice in this. Okay. So we paired this up with um, their snake dog India Pale Ale. Oh, that's delicious. IPAs have a lot more hops in them. Okay. And that uh, reflects a, a spicier note to it. So you get something spicy, you want a beer like this. Right. So it pairs well and it won't wash out the flavors of the, of the soup. It works. Yeah, it works. Nice? This will up your football watching too. Mm -hmm. A soup like this and a beer like this. And I'm not really a beer person, but I love the idea of this pairing because it makes me think about what I'm drinking. Absolutely. There's complexity there. Absolutely. Right. And what's Dan working on over here? Dan um, is working on our uh, Cuban style pork sandwich. Okay. Um, what we did Which was looks good as is, and now you're making it fancy, Dan. Yep. It's a little uh, fruit and tomato salsa. Um, just a little bit of citrus, some lime juice, orange juice. Um, pork's been marinated in that as well, slow roasted. Um, a little beer bread to go with the beer dinner. Um, the roasted pork and some grilled pineapple. Wow, okay. So again, you got layers of depth uh, of flavor, flavor here. And also with this beer, this is a double dog, uh, double pale ale. So more ingredients are added to it, more hops, more malts. Um, and it's going to have a slightly fruity note to it balance with the hops. All right. I, so it's a mouthful. I double dog dare you to try it. No, I'll try it. Okay. Should I try a bite of the sandwich and then that, or the? It, did it really pair with the salsa? The I, I try a little bite, and then you can uh, have a little salsa as well. Real? We're oh. going to finish up with that. Okay. Now, while I'm doing this, will yeah. you tell us all about the, the um, dinner? Absolutely. And when it is and where it's at? Um, we're actually holding this outside in the gazebo courtyard of the American Club. Um, there'll be live entertainment, um, a local band, Water Street Hot Shots. Um, we'll be playing there. Um, so we'll go through six courses of this. The mm -hmm. vice president of the company will be there to talk about his beer, uh, as well as myself, um, talk about our food and our chef, uh, Joe Ostring. Um, so it's going to be very interactive. Um, we're going to bring some of the, the gonzo spirit out uh, there, some surprises. Um, but it's going to be a, a wonderful afternoon. It starts at 5.30 um, for, the, for the reception part of the past hors d'oeuvres, and then um, the music will start, and it'll be a great day to be outside. And yeah, I didn't know beer. live music was part of it. That's great. So it's kind of an event. I mean, Correct. big event. Six yeah. courses. Tickets are how much? Uh, tickets are $60, and they can be pur purchased through Destination Kohler. Okay, and we have that number up there on our screen. We'll also put it on our website. That is very nice. Isn't it? It was a little stronger. 
It is a little stronger, but yeah. it, you need that to stand up to the pork and the strong flavor. Absolutely. In there. Dan, thank you so much. Welcome Sean, pleasure. thank you. You're going to be on Living with Amy cooking what? Uh, we're going to be doing some grilled cal calamari and then uh, summer fruit parfait. All right, so stick around. They're, these guys are going to stick around. They'll be on Living with Amy next. But if you want to be part of that dinner at Kohler, you can go to our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day, and we'll have all that information that you saw on the screen there. Thanks, guys.